Um, another game. I just don't think it gets that much attention. Uh, I don't know why. It's a really good game. It was a pretty good game. I quite like the look of it. Adds a little go of it. it yeah. Seemed like a good game to me. Um, it's a game I will put in my collection at some point. If you're familiar with the NES version or the SNES version or even the Mega Drive version, it's not like any of them. It's, uh, completely, it's different. completely different. It's its own thing. Uh, it's like a 2D side on um, jump and gun and platform and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Uh, but you can also like cling to the ceilings and shimmy along it. I don't think Grant does that once in the movies. No, I don't think any ninja moves. I don't. I don't recall him being ninja. Yeah, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, it's still a really good game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Alan Grant. But I remember loving this game so much when I played it as a kid. It was the first time I ever skived our school. I pulled a sickie to stay at home and play <laughs> this. And I got caught. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, 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 pretty good. By your parents. <laughs> yeah. I, I never once skived off school. So, you got, Is that the continent of South America? It's the Jurassic Park Island, wherever the fact of that is, I don't it know. It does look like the continent of South America. It does actually a little America. bit, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you can play, play. There's five levels in the game, and you can play, play them in any order except for this one, which is always last. And you only unlock this one by beating all the four levels before it without using a continue. So it's a bit challenging, but it's got one of those things. Once you get good enough at the game to beat it, the last level uh, unlocks. So it, it, as a kid playing that, that was kind of fun. I enjoyed that. Every game starts with this shooting bit, which isn't the best. It kind of sucks, but. Um, it's painless enough. You don't need to do it. You can just flunk it and fail and go straight into the game. But when you kill the enemies... Um, then what, what's the point of it? Fuel tanks drop. And if you collect the fuel tanks from the enemies that you kill, you get uh, extra health for the mission. Now, I, I do understand that. We do have fossil fuels because of... You know, fossil, oh, yeah! I, I never because, thought of that! Because of dinosaurs, but... I never even questioned it! But... Really, I don't think I don't think that's how fossil fuels work. <laughs> just put a bullet in a fucking pterodactyl and you got petrol. Fantastic. It's like, oh shit, I'm running out of petrol. Oh, there's a pet shop there. I wonder if they've got any iguanas in. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's still beautiful. But <laughs> uh, the T Rex, there's two. Um... Why, why is he still running with no heads? <laughs> Slowing down, it's just going to drop. And then why did you pull a wheelie? I have no idea. I don't think cars, cars can do that. Yeah, car, <laughs> cars aren't notorious for that shit. Ooh, look at Alan Grant go for a run. Yeah. Okay, so... To be fair, it's basic stats, you know, basic um, graphics. Like, why are you shooting a sonic boom? Sonic boom! I have no idea, actually, but it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so, the game's pretty standard to begin with. You run, you gun, you shoot the dinos. But... What are you collecting? Uh, the coins... I can't actually remember what the fucking coins do anymore. Um, you can select different weapons which do different things, which are quite cool. you got flares, which are basically grenades. you got fucking bazooka. Which you can't... You can't kill enemies straight in front of you with it. Uh, but enemies above you and all that kind of crap, you can. So I probably should oh. switch to a gun I can shoot forward. Uh, the damage is really good on it as well. And uh, the main bit I like. Oh, I did pick the wrong one. I should pick the Brachiosaurus level. That's much better. You can stick to the ceilings and climb around. So there's like you can look at the levels in interesting ways, which I quite like. Because Doctor Alan Grant is known for his Batman skills. Oh yeah, <laughs> it makes no sense, but I don't mind. <laughs> I like how the very tiny little little lift is actually still branded Jurassic Park. Yeah. <laughs> Oop. Oh yeah, they take two health off a time. I forgot about that. Did I set that lift off? And that's... Uh, can I shoot from under there? So the greys do a little bit more damage because the enemies often take multiple hits to kill. Oh, he looks like a mean motherfucker. Yeah, and he's in a bad place as well. Oh, there's not usually slowdown there. That's interesting. I'd say there's no slowdown. Or it doesn't usually slow down. No, I've never come across slowdown. That's interesting. Mm. 
but I have sadly picked the, the worst level, I think. But some of the level design in this is absolutely fantastic. Like, the way you use the sticking to the ceiling and climbing around and stuff. It, it's some great fun stuff you can do with it. It's really good fun to play, really satisfying. Uh, the combat holds up pretty well. If I can actually land that fucking jump. I'm actually noticing the fact that the enemies, when you kill them, they don't just disappear. Yeah, the bodies stay there, which is quite cool. The corpses stay there. Do they stay there if you leave that part of the level and come back? I don't remember. I've left a few corpses down here, so... No, no, they wake back up. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're not corpses. Maybe you're just throwing... Sleep oh, yeah, the tail's still waggling, so they're all right. There we go. Was that what you asked, that energy? Yeah. Uh, oh, I want to switch to that. So there's a bit of memorization knowing what... Uh, annoyingly, this has got a shit car boss. Um, I probably won't bother with the car boss, to be fair. Because um, you go into the level with the amount of life you left the level with, plus one. Uh, well, like, to a minimum of one. So if I just tank it now, I'll go into the level with four pieces of health, but only one will have any health in it. Um, whereas if you beat the game, if you beat this mini game, you go in there full health, uh, all five blips, and you can get an extra life from it as well. But probably not worth all the hassle, to be fair. Something like the fucker bunch me. Oh, he's the last one, isn't it? I gotta fight the boss anyway. I'm just fucking dropping them. I also discovered if you shoot the rocks, <laughs> you can get a little health pickup. Is it so random? Yeah, it is a bit bizarre. <clears throat> Graphically, this might be the best part of the game so far, though. It's, it's a good looking game. Well, the, the parallax scroll on, the, it, it, on this is really good. There's yeah. what? One, two, three, four, five. Is there that many different levels? Or layers. That's quite surprising, or, actually. Or, yeah. it, or are some of those layers to... No, no. The, the, the bottom ones together. going completely fast, faster. The next yeah. one down is going faster than the girls. No, and you can't shoot them at the back. I should have added that. No, they're, they're, all, go they're all different la layers. It's impressive, isn't it? it there we go. It's actually really fucking well done. Although there's nothing extra going on apart from you and the, the dinosaurs. Yeah. And those rocks. Looks more like a fucking taxi, though. <laughs> Painted up taxi. There we go. Ah, oh, this level's good. I like this level. Uh, just because there's so much going on. Like, there's a lot of... Uh, oh, uh, that one. Why? What's going on? Fucking spit. Don't need that shit. But yeah, it's just a lot of. Oh, I got crushed! I've never done that before. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you can just drop down from there, that's why. I did not need to try and do that lift. There we go. I can't remember what those spitters are called. They called they laugh or something. Um, yes, something like that. What is it? Excuse me. Dino. It's not a Dionychus, is it? That's something else. I don't. I th I'm, I'm thinking maybe they laugh or something. I think you're right. Oop, not there. What? This 
spitting dinosaur Jurassic Park. Dilophosaurus. Oh yeah, well done. I said Dilophosaurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, close enough. You got the main bit right. Well, all the years of playing, me. there's a potion up there. I have never, ever been able to get it. I have no idea how you get that. Can you... No. I've... I was going to say, can you manage to ride the boulder, but I didn't think that's happening. Whoops. Uh, she's a health pack that I did not need to sneeze, but it's alright. We're not beating the game. Yeah, this level's a bit weird, but... Kind of cool. To be fair, the graphics are pretty good on this game. They I'm really, really are. I'm impressed I mean, with them, to be honest. This, this game's just really well put together. Like, it plays really well. Uh, the level design's fantastic. And who makes this? Um, I have no idea, actually. <laughs> Do you know what I've never understood about these kind of levels? What's that? Is I understand the idea of it is it moves to make it harder. To give you another challenge as well as just fighting a, 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 an enemy, which obviously the enemy itself doesn't seem to be actually doing anything. To try and no, fight you. he's just flying backwards and forwards. It's up to you to seem, seemingly attack him. But you know, uh, how, how come you can't drop down an, a, a, an extra foot or two? Why'd you die instantly? Yeah, fair point. No idea. Oh well, he actually did try and get you then, though, didn't he? Yeah, and failed. <laughs> <laughs> It looked like you punched him then, but yeah. fire. <laughs> what a fucking Ryu here. Fucking scorpion. Go over here! Oh, he did. <laughs> hey! I caught him with a... But was that just pure luck, was it? Yeah, my flare just happened to catch him. Got him! Hey! But again, just the, the climbing's really good. It doesn't kill him now. Being able to sort of grab the ledges, shimmy along, climb up, pull yourself down. Like... The gameplay is fun to play. The weapon variety is really good. They all do different things, and you approach every enemy and boss in a different way. Uh, the level design is really good. There's a fuck ton of secrets. Uh, what's next? Um, Land of Illusion. Mm. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Now, um, I've played a little bit of this game in the past anyway. Yes, and I, do know, it, yeah. I do know it's a pretty good game. I've never given it that much time, though. No, I really need to. Mm. The graphics are gorgeous on the game. It plays so, so well. And something I didn't actually know about the game was it, it's not just linear. You, you go back into your levels. You find out that things have changed. Like in one of the levels, the tide goes up. Mm. There's more to get. You have to collect... Was, was it stars, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to collect your, your stars and you know whatnot. And the, the game is just... It, there's a lot more depth to it than... Than anything I have realised would exist in a game like this. Yeah, I'm quite impressed. No, it's a generally good game. So it's a game I'm going to give more time to. Yeah, and I, th I think it, I consider this a very underrated game because when people talk about Mickey Mouse for the any Sega console, it's Castle of Illusion. Yeah, uh, and for good reason. It's a great game. Yeah, yeah, and Castle of Illusion on the Mouse system is amazing. And uh, this, this but plays this the same. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel it's a much better game. Like just a game, just gameplay wise, it feels yeah. just that little bit better. It's just that little. Little tweaks that have made it step forward, I think. Well, it is a, a bit for, further forward anyway, isn't it? Yeah. But later on, so they do tweak. Yeah, but just the, the stuff that goes on in the game, like all the pickups and going back to the previous levels and using them to find secrets. Totally, I think a lot of people completely miss this game. It's bloody amazing. I, I, I just like things in games like that where you've got, like, you're in the water and the current's coming. You have yeah. to hide from the current or you have to hold on to the vine or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then a different parts of the game where you're holding on to the. Um, onto the, the vine or the tree and the, the whirlwind is coming past you you've yeah. got to make sure that you just you, you, you basically you time yourself right sometimes it, it stops you from progressing sometimes you need it to get over some spikes or some yeah. hurdles yeah. It's, it's it's things like that that make games like that for me mm, yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. It's, yeah you have to use your brain a little bit it's not just a simple run jump and and end up somewhere. Mm. Mickey's a bit beige there. What's going on with him? Yeah. <laughs> Might be the right one on this TV. Uh, no, this game's definitely in the underrated category for me. It's fucking amazing. Uh, it, it, the, the, the Disney games on this console are usually oh, pretty good. Yeah, most of them are really good. The only one that I think slightly fucks up, but that's only because the controls are so fucking bad, is the Jungle Book. Yes. Um, Shocking the Jungle Book. Actually, there's quite a lot wrong with the Jungle Book, to be fair. But... <laughs> 
but I couldn't name another one that's bad. Lion King just scrapes by, I think. Like, it's got a bit of getting used to because of how bad the controls are. But once you've sussed that, it. I've got it. I'll bring it over. Uh, oh, yeah, I could just bring all the Disney fucking games over. That'd be a laugh. I've got the uh, Lion King on. Boom! <laughs> I know all the fucking secrets in this game. It's ridiculous. Um, so I just skipped that entire level. Uh, almost. Uh, so, yeah, when you think Mickey Mouse games, it's Castle Illusion. Everyone talks about Castle Illusion. Uh, for the Mars system, we had Land of Illusion as well as Castle Illusion, which was really good for the Mars system, Castle Illusion. This game's just so much better. Uh, it's got this weird kind of metroidvania risk thing going on. Yeah, it does. it's not quite as Yeah, it's not very, yeah, it's it? not very linear. Uh, so you've got like the map. Every bit on there is a level. Uh, and you unlock power-ups. And as you unlock them and you know, progress forward and all that kind of stuff. You can go back to all the levels and uh, there's stuff to unlock and collect. Um, there's like a star on every level as well. And then you get like super high points if you find all the stars. But you get even more points if you beat the game collecting no stars at all, which uh, me and my brother have now done. But I remember my brother was... He, he punished himself as a gamer when he was a kid. Absolutely insane. Because I... We weren't really good enough to play this and beat it with no extra stars. Because every star is just extra health. Which is an extra chance to make progress and not die, which is quite nice. Ah, I was wondering what the use of these vines were. Ah, yeah, yeah, the, the current, yeah, yeah. The current. Yeah. I get the air in this, like this one, Paris. Uh, but yeah, you get the stars, you get extra lives, and then uh, after a certain point, uh, you get three stars, you get an extra heart each time, or an extra hit. Uh, but once you hit five stars the stars after that don't make a difference. So it's just a case of points and completion after that. Oh, I missed a cake at the end. Never mind. Oof. See, what I love about these is the, the graphics are stunning. If you yeah. Actually, if you actually change the graphics to be in the HD ones, mm. it doesn't off. It rounds it all off and th these games look amazing. Yeah. They are really good looking games. Like, excellent animation on them as well. Yeah, beating this, uh, the level I was on before. How far did you get in this game? I didn't actually, I didn't play it to, to go far in it. I just played it to talk about the the controls and what the game looked like. Yeah, yeah. I, I um, so you, you took the shortcut, didn't you, where you put the... Uh, I did in the forest, yeah. Yeah. I bumped over his well, head and... I got to, I got to, like, part of the forest where I was going up the trees like that. Yeah. And that's where I kind of... Yeah, I'll, I'll skip that, yeah. <laughs> I kind of gave up on it there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of like... This, this shows you early on, like, sort of how the game works, so this kind of thing doesn't happen again. Um, I did that level before. The river was really low. Done that level. I've come back here. Now the water's risen. Yeah. And it completely changes. Yeah, it's, it's changed one level into two. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, there's an extra life down at the bottom. I can't be honest getting it, so just going to swim. The game seems to be struggling staying alive anyway. No. Well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but it's worth going in here as well because this is where star number two is, and the current's gone now. So I think, yeah. But you couldn't get that. No, water wasn't high enough. Yeah, enough. yeah. So it's just stuff like that. It's like really cool. No, it, it, it's it's very smart design, to be honest. Mm. And I can't think of many games at the time that did shit like this. I mean, this was after um, Castlevania, so uh, Castlevania, fucking uh, Metroid. Um, but it's not really like Metroid. It's not that one big cohesive but interlocking level. The thing uh, is, it's also a Disney game. You you kind of probably wouldn't expect it as much from yeah. a licensed Disney game. There we go, actually. Probably expect it more from a, 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 you know, the kind of game a Metroid is. Yeah, and to be fair, Sega wouldn't risk spending that kind of time investment on a game like Metroid. No. So, because they had to get their games out pretty quick, especially at the time Metroid came out. Uh, it's why most Master System games are so short and compact, because uh, they just had to get games out, and they didn't have much in the way of third-party developers uh, on board with them. So, uh, do you want to give this another go? Yeah, I'll give it. 
Right, the Gerrick in this level, uh, for the most part, whenever you hold the lantern, it's lit up. Whenever you let go of the lantern, the room darkens again. Uh, the ghosts come back to life after a short period of time, oh. like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm fucked, aren't I? No, just, just, you can uh, bop him on the head. Okay. Yeah. It's down, isn't it? Uh, no. Uh, ah, yeah. It's back, I <laughs> fucking die. That's right. Release and run back. Oh, you put the filter on. Yeah. Yeah, we can see how, how that looks with the filter, actually. Excuse me, hiccup. Oh. Fucking pretty good, actually. <laughs> Fair play. Oh, I need to get me one of these. These look bloody awesome. Oh, he needs to drop this one yeah. to jump on it and jump climb over. But you get given another one. Oh, you bastards! I didn't know where I could fucking fall in. Yeah. It's weird because I can. I'm like visualizing these in my head because I've I played them so fucking much. So like I know where you can run and how safe it is and stuff like that. So seeing you being careful and trepidatious about it, it's like oh yeah, <laughs> that's you got to do that. Uh, that's pretty much the end of the dark bit now. So. Got to bounce off this bastard. Of yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just pass the fucking. Yeah, just hit the arrow. I'm assuming that later on you get the chance to. Yeah, yeah, else yeah. To... Oh, I'll hit the arrow just because it's a checkpoint. You want to turn it pink? There you go. Uh, yeah, you get something called the climbing rope. Ah. And you come back to this level. You can go up there. You can grab your shit. It's all good. Why the fuck? Are yeah, I yeah, that was really tough. To be fair. Hey. I'm not actually bad at games. I just <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'll, most of these old games just take learning. All right. Oh, I haven't got enough health to cheese this bit, sadly. Um, right, this bit is fucking stupid. Am I gonna have to build myself? You kind of have to build a bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember how far you have to build it, but... And gaps are fine. Um... Bad yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> it remembers where to put the block, but it doesn't remember that I killed the fucking pumpkin. <laughs> uh, I think you can cheese it. Bounce off him. I just keep going forward. Yeah, you got it, it's fine. Just the boss. Yeah. No, if you've got full health, you can just fucking blitz it across that. Uh, put that back down where it was, otherwise you can't get the top lock. Oh. That's no biggie, I think it's just a cake in there, fuck it. I'm gonna die anyway, aren't I? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this bit. You've basically got to pick up the blocks and throw them out the fucking way. And then get up and over that. And bomb those blocks. Uh, you get that cake on the way back. Because when you hold the switch, it pulls the screen backwards. Now you need the key for this bit. Keep going. You can jump up through there. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I think you can bomb the Yeah, uh, just break the blocks. And then the screen... Uh, there's some pumpkins that come for you, so watch out for that. Yeah. Die. Okay. But pick up the uh, key. And then stand on the switch. And you got to work that all the way back up. <laughs> and you got to stay on there to keep it going. I can't remember if the blocks respawn. I don't think they do. No, they don't. So I've got to make it to this next one. Yeah. Uh, but the key is heavy enough to hold it down as well. Well, that's... That's slowing down. That doesn't happen on the console. That's interesting. That's happened a couple of times. There you go. 
Uh, you can also use the key to weigh it down as well. Oh, you die. <laughs> That's a good throw. Uh, yeah, but typically what you do is stay on the button until the screen's pretty much moving you off it. And then you, that gives you the most time to get across. Sounds. Run! It's actually quite interesting, though. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff like that uh, in this game. It really plays around with you know, some really good design and some interesting ideas. Run, you stupid mouse! <laughs> it's that fucking D-pad, man, seriously. Man, I can't believe how much this is lagging. This really does not happen on the console. Just, <laughs> I think I was a pixel away. Yeah. Right, for this one, you've got to put the key, key on, on the now. switch and then start lifting the blocks and throwing them off. You do not want to lose the key here. That's fine. Oh, and... So you got to go all the fucking way back. <laughs> and it's frustrating. Am I running out of time? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're fine. Do I have to throw it in there or just don't uh, get to it? Uh, you just run out to it and throw it in. Yeah, then hit the checkpoint, done. Now you're at the boss. Boss is actually quite tricky. Well, I must have died, don't Yeah, it's fine. You, you, report, you restart right outside the door anyway. So he's waiting oh, for him to dip okay. down, jump on his head, and he starts spawning little fires. You only need to hit him three times, I think it is. Then he gives you the shrinking potion. Oh. Okay then. Is that as low as you go, is it? Yeah. How low? So, <laughs> so yeah, as he's sort of coming in to dip down. Ah, oh, I missed him. Come at me, bro. There you go. Ah, oh, does I get him then? I'll just... Nice. Is this the last hit? Die. Oh. Woohoo! Does that teabag him? <laughs> uh, it's down and A. What's it teabag him? No. <laughs> uh, just pick the key up and it'll complete the level for you. Oh, you got to be big to pick up. Was I always able to get smaller? No, you literally just pick that up. Okay, fair enough. And to give you a good idea of how it was all sort of <laughs> connecting together, uh, go back to the first level. Is that the house, though? Uh, the forest. The forest. And go straight along the ground. You should hit the uh, the sort of small cliff. There you go. Yeah, bust those boxes. Shrink. Walk into the wall. Oh. So it's just shit like that. Like you can't get that any other way. Um, but as you pick up stuff, you go back through all the other levels, you find all these weird little pickups and hidden objects and stuff like that. Really clever little game. Oh, you've got a flute as well. If you pause the game and hit yes, you just get the fuck out of the level. So, that's really useful. <laughs> yeah, it's just such an incredible game. I didn't realise this game. game was that deep, to be honest. It's so good. It's, it totally gets ignored because of how good... Castle Illusion is and how well known it is because it was the big Mega Drive game and this didn't get a Mega Drive version. I don't think Mega Drive got anything like this. But genuinely, this is definitely the best Disney game on the system, I think. By a far shot, the best Mickey Mouse game I've played. Ninja Gaiden. I've ah, yes. never played this version for the Master System. Mm. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty game. Yeah. It's hard, like, uh, it, especially with a Master System controller. It's a bit yeah. tetchy sometimes. 
we weren't using the massive control. We uh, yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah, <laughs> we we used the Mega Drive controller for a little bit, and then we used the Super Nintendo controller. And the buttons are the wrong way around on the Super Nintendo controller, so we we had a bit of fun dying a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but the graphics are stunning on the game. Mm. It plays really, really well. I I need to pick it up and give it an actual proper playthrough myself. Mm. It's one of few Mario System games that I didn't have back in the day. I played this on emulator first. But I heard a lot of really good things about it. Uh, so I played it on emulator, really enjoyed it. And I got really jammy with getting that as well. Because even when I was collecting, that was like a 30 quid game. And that was really expensive for a Mario System game back then. Um, yeah, I never see it. Yeah. Never see it anyway. <laughs> but it's one of the few games that I've played since my childhood where I really invest a lot of time in to learn the game, learn the secrets, play it over again, memorise it and beat it. And it felt good to have that kind of game again. So uh, it's one. I think it's one of the best made on the system by quite a large margin. So I highly recommend that one. Cool. Uh, so yeah, this is probably the best made game on the system. It's so fucking good. I have Incredibly well made. Also. Um, I may have difficulties with it because of how weird the D-pad's been. And this game has a lot of very uh, up and down sensitive commands. So I may randomly fire shurikens off, but whatever, we'll see if we can get through it. <laughs> what goes up, what's coming down? Oh, I, uh, what's that, friend? Oh, yeah, yeah, this storyline. Like, if you've played the NES Ninja Gaiden, that's really familiar. It seems to run as fast anyway. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I didn't mean to fire that shuriken off. <laughs> ah! Get out there. There we go. Oh, fuck that. There we go. But yeah, you can grab onto platforms. You can, like on Jurassic Park, you can do the whole grip, flip up, uh, flip down. Uh, you can't shimmy along, but. Uh, you can wall kick, which is quite cool. God damn it. Yeah, I keep just firing shurikens off, I'm not meaning to. He might be a ninja, but he's not quite as ninja as um, Alan Grant. Uh, yeah, he, he could be a bit better. <laughs> oh no, we didn't want to place that. Also, this is fucking running fast. I can just hear it. I think this is running like NTSC or something. Well, this will be an NTSC cartridge. Would it? Yeah, because it's called Ninja. That was in the UK, wasn't it? Um, no, the products with the word Ninja in weren't allowed to be sold in the UK. Huh? In the um, 80s and the early 90s. No, I didn't know. This actually runs on my, on my mass system. Oh, well, my, free. No, my system is, um, is region free. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You can actually uh, 1560 hertz modulate it, so... There you go. I know he died there, but... Holding the up and grip button. Uh, yeah, you like hold up and jump and you can just grip onto things. I'm just wondering. Fucking nice. Wondering what happened with this game. Was this called something different in our, in our, our region? No, it was, uh, it was certainly released as. In, well, available here. I remember seeing this in the shops. Mm. Because that's why the, like, the turtles are the hero turtles. Ah, and it's why I thought that was American. I thought they didn't like the word ninja. No, it was, it was Europe. Ah, it, God, we were a bunch of soft gets, weren't we? Well, we're about to leave them anyway, so... Oh it, was a, oh, it was a German thing, wasn't it? It was a German thing. Oh, God, they're terrible. But um, that's why Ninja Gaiden on the NES here is called um, Shadow Warrior. That's right, yeah. For over in America, it's Ninja Gaiden. I forgot about that. This was quite late in its um, in the life cycle. This has been about '92, I think. This came out. That may have just changed back at that point. So I think Mortal Kombat was already out by then. And Mortal Kombat changed some uh, <laughs> changed some rules. First boss down. Okay, it says, um, due to the discontinued support of the console in Japan and North America because of its lukewarm sales in both regions, 
where compared to the Nintendo Entertainment System, the game was only released in Europe, Australia, and other PAL regions. Bearing the Ninja Gaiden label instead of the Shadow Warriors one, 